Well, welcome. We're talking about a very important subject, which is case management for expert witnesses. Now, as a solicitor, case management is an essential part of my workflow. How do I look after the case as it progresses? And I'm delighted that we have an expert in this field, uh, Chris Smith, today. Um, and we're going to go discuss some of these issues around uh, expert witnesses and case management. So, Chris, can you explain to us why case management is important for expert witnesses? Yeah, OK. So I guess I would always think of it as, as the foundations of a house. So just like with a house, it's important to get your foundations correct before you build up. Otherwise, you're really going to scale, um, trouble. You're going to have trouble scaling. Um, so that's why I think it's important because a good case management system is just like the foundations of a house. It allows you to feel safe, secure, and be able to scale. And as you scale, the system can simply scale with you. And that's why having a really good case management system is so important. So this involves things like uh, storing the instructions, preparing the reports, keeping time limits in place. Absolutely. It's following the full workflow from being instructed by uh, a law firm, for example, all the way through to then receiving that first large bundle. Maybe that includes radiology, maybe it doesn't. Where do you store that radiology? Where do you store the medical records? And now that you've got it all, how can you work both independently on that case report and how can you also work with perhaps your team? Maybe you've got a PA, other members of your, your medical legal practice. How can you all collaborate in a safe, secure case management? Well, I think place? it's right to say many experts do rather an ad hoc system. They just do it themselves. They have a diary and uh, just progress like that. But that does have some risks, doesn't it? I mean, if clearly time is money. The more time that they spend on if they lost, lose a document or something, that can be very time consuming. A absolutely. And, you know, you, these individuals, everyone as a consultant has been to med school for, you know, eight, nine years uh, to qualify. Then, then why are you spending your time, you know, dealing with, with Excel issues and other computer IT related issues? You didn't go to university to do computer science. So you really shouldn't have to worry about those sorts of uh, issues. So that's where a good case management system really helps. Well, I suppose the parallel would be um, if you think about a, a, a theatre, a, a surgeon's theatre, mm. they have a process that they, they go through checking and checking and organising. They know where the um, kit is. And so this is putting those sort of principles into managing an expert witness practice. A exactly. Yeah. What is the workflow and how can we streamline it to be as beneficial to the expert as possible. And like you say, time is money. How can we save them as much money as well, possible? Well, of course, time, time records are really important and being able to justify the work you spent. So mm. a time record and case management system needs proper time record systems, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Ideally, you need a way of keeping track of time so that if you are questioned um, on that, you can then just simply send a document that outlines your time broken down. And, and what you did and why it's important. Exactly, and why it's important. They just really, there's no more. And I suppose that does feed back into budgeting. So the next case, they're much more aware of how long things take so they can give a better quote. A, 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 exactly. And, and then knowing as well your, your own practice, as much detail as possible, a case management can help with that. What is your current turnaround time, for example, of a case report? And in terms of Templates, that's obviously important because the certain things are standard. And so a case management system would need some sort of templates, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, abs absolutely. I think having a, a standardized case report, for example, is really important because then obviously... So you don't miss things. Then, do you? you don't miss things. And also, you're, you are a business. So then you are giving a consistent product as the output to the, the law firm or whoever the instructing party is. I suppose with the ad hoc systems that we talked about, there can be duplication, kind of double entry and things missed. Absolutely, yeah. You may have been, you know, worst case scenario, you may have even been instructed on both sides of a, of a claim, perhaps. Um, so it's really important um, to, to be able to monitor those sorts of and things. In, and this world now, of course, everyone is working from all over the place, home, cafes, trains, etc. So you need access to your system, don't you? Absolutely. So I think as we're in the 21st century, you know, Working from home is huge. You should be able to work from anywhere in the world, but still deliver the same quality service that you're used to. In the but UK. then we've got the problem of um, security. Yes. Uh, there's been problems with experts, perhaps losing documents or yeah. things becoming into the public domain. You need, uh, for a case management system, you need proper security. Absolutely. And it's not just your, your base level security either. You know, where is it hosted? Is it hosted in the UK? Is there failover? 
for those server environments. What does that mean? In. So failover means that you always want your information in two different spaces on two different servers. So okay. if there's a catastrophic failure, it's perhaps at, it's the, backed up somewhere at else. the server space in York, oh, it's down in Coventry as well. So that's absolutely okay. fine. So it's really important to keep in mind that you want to ask whoever's providing uh, your case management system, is it backed up? And where are those data centers located? And of course, you're dealing with data and that brings in the GDPR issues, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it, it certainly does. And um, there's nothing worse than obviously if you were an expert and you're having to just download stuff to your, your desktop because that is an absolute you know, a huge, a huge no-no. So it's really important to store it in a, a platform that has certain credentials behind it. Ideally, you know, ISO 27001, ISO 9001 and other credentials. This, this ensures quality. Exactly, ensures quality and data sovereignty as well. That, uh, what does that mean? You're, you're that, that your data is secure and um, any right. staff that do have access to it have a, maybe a, a, a certain level of clearance, maybe SC clearance they call it, which is a security clearance that you have to have to work with the likes of the MOJ and the MOD. Well, you talk about other people now, of course collaboration is important for yeah. um, case management systems. That means you've got the lawyers, the solicitors, or whoever. Absolutely. So you really want to be able to communicate within your uh, you know, within your case system to other interested parties. Because otherwise you end up in this loop, and we've all been there, I'm sure, of someone emails in, you haven't seen it, it goes to the bottom of the pile, and before you know it, it's two weeks, three weeks before you're being chased. And especially in this area, it's so important to stick to deadlines. So of course. You know, we're looking to hopefully communicate within one system. Well, as, as a lawyer, I know if you miss a a time, time limit imposed by the court, the whole case can be thrown out. So it's really important to Absolutely. keep with it. Well, we've talked about those qualities. Now, a lot of experts I would call amateur experts. <laughs> They're basically doing, they created their ad hoc systems. Yeah. I think you come from a company that offers some sort of way of dealing with that. Yes, we do. So uh, we're from, from Aldoc, um, and we've been building a platform that's uh, just for medical legal expert witnesses okay. over the last five years. And what we've had is 150 medical legal experts feeding into the system and saying, what do you need from a case management platform? Because what we're finding is that, like you say, the experts either have a series of Excels that takes a lot of time to communicate and the workflows are a bit hickledy pickledy all over the place, or they've got an off the shelf case management platform, but they're having to make it fit to be an expert witness. There's nothing else. So this there. is designed by and for expert witnesses, really. Exactly. I guess that's a good way of summarizing it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that presumably reduces risk and improves productivity. Uh, exactly. And profit, I guess. Well, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it all, it all flows through going back to those workflows. It's how can we streamline those workflows from all that experience with speaking to those 150 medical legal experts. Now we've managed to really streamline that into a really nice process that saves you time and money. And I guess experts can find that out from your website, but you're also coming to our conference on the 8th of November, aren't you? Yes, we are. We'll be there on the 8th of November. Demoing. We are giving full demos, so please feel free to, to drop by. And if you ever wanted to um, know more about us, you can contact us uh, on our website, alldoc.com, um, and we'd be happy to give you a demo or, or just general advice. And in terms of costings, etc., that's all on the website, presumably. It, it is, but you can also um, contact us for, for more details. Good. Well, thank you so much, uh, Chris. We'll, we'll see you at the conference. No, pleasure. Thank and, you much. And I hope I see you all at the conference. Uh, I'm definitely going to have a look at Chris's stand. It looks really interesting. So we look forward to the conference. We've got the uh, Chief Executive of the Solicitors Regulation Authority. We've got the Chair of the Bar. We've got a traditional uh, legal update. Fantastic speakers uh, as, in addition to those. So do come along. Uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much.